Hi guys. Okay, so we're gonna wait a few minutes and see if anybody hops on. Um, let me tell you about the oils I'm using this morning. I, I woke up and I just uh, had a really hard time focusing today, so um, I put on some ylang ylang. It's always calming and uplifting. It's great for um, uplifting your mood and just grounding you, or at least that's what it is for me. And then I used some clarity to bring what I needed to do into focus today. And boy, did it work, okay? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, today we are going to talk about some ways that I use purification. I'm Elizabeth, by the way. <laughs> um, welcome to Essential Wellness. Um, okay, so we are going to talk about purification. If you guys, if any of you watched my previous class on the starter kit, it comes in the starter kit. Um, and uh, so if, if you're curious about that, you can go to my Facebook page and watch the video if you want to know um, a little bit more about what the starter kit, kit is or you can um, message me or whatever. Um, just as a side note, if you do buy a starter kit this, um, this month, you get a 15 milliliter, that's this size, um, of tangerine. And talk about a mood lifter, tangerine is awesome for that. And it just, it smells great in your diffuser. Um, it, you can, yeah, it's just a great oil. Um, I have the Vitality version and I put it in my water. It's really um, tasty. So, okay, purification. This oil right here. Yeah, it has um, citronella, rosemary, lemongrass, tea tree oil, lavender, and myrtle. And I don't don't mind the smell. If you like, um, I know some people worry if it smells a lot by citronella because some people don't like that smell. It smells more like lemongrass to me. Um, I don't really smell the citronella that much. So, yeah. So purification. This is my 15 milliliter bottle because after I ran out of it in my kit, I went and bought the, the 15 because we use it a lot. Okay, so if you remember from the class, we learned that purification is a great neutralizer of smells, okay? And um, so is baking soda. So I have baking soda here. I have four cups of it already in my big giant glass bowl. And I'm going to put 10 drops of purification in here. Okay, maybe a little extra. Doesn't really matter. And then I like the smell of lavender and purification together. So I'm going to mix this in there. I should tell you what I, we're actually making. Sorry about that. Um, I use this, I make large batches of this baking soda and purification um, mixture in order to sprinkle on my carpets before I vacuum. Or you can use it as a soft scrub for your bathroom or your kitchen or your grout. Um, you can also use it um, in your garbage disposal or your trash can. So if you make a large batch of it and just put it in a mason jar or whatever, then you always have it um, for anything you want to use it around the house. Um, you could, you can do a lot to it. You can even add it to your laundry if you wanted to. Um, you could use it anywhere you would use baking soda. You know, stick some in the in a jar in the fridge. Or um, it's also great for in the closets, um, just to keep your closet smelling fresh. And you just put it in a mason jar. They have the new mason jars now with the slits in the lid. Um, those are perfect. I have one that's more of a mesh um, that I got. Not sure where I got it or anything, but I just keep it in our closets and it just helps the closet smell good. Um, so 
there are lots of uses for this and that's why I make really large batches this is not even that large but it's a good good start and it's good for this class so make as much as you feel comfortable this is four cups of baking soda 10 drops of purification I'm using another 10 drops of lavender but you could use lemon orange you could use the thieves um, you could use any smell that you would like and depending on the job you want to use this for do your research and find an oil that matches um, the job that you want it to do okay so I'm gonna add 10 drops of this Now, I forgot to grab a spoon, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Thought I thought of everything. Okay, so when you're using essential oils, please use glass and metal okay um, especially if you're gonna put lemon in this um, and you want to just mix it together and the best thing is is that the longer this sits especially in an airtight container the more the oil will saturate the baking soda and it um, so that's that's a good thing and it I think um, the lavender and the purification really complement each other. And of course, you want to gauge how much, this is based on smell, okay? So if you want a stronger smelling um, solution or baking powder, then, you know, add more. It, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, I would think, yeah, you know, I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'm going to put six more drops six of each. It, this stuff is great. I use it on my kids' carpets. And what's amazing is that even after I vacuum it, and when you're vacuuming it, it's going through your vacuum too, which is nice. It kind of deodorizes your vacuum. Um, it, uh, it's, it smells for a few days afterwards. It just feel, it just smells fresh and clean. So just mix that up. Okay. And then you go. That's it. You just put it in an airtight container. And then you have it for whatever project you want you want it for and you just you know put a couple tablespoons down your garbage disposal or add a little bit of water to it and make a soft scrub it it's just it's so versatile that I love it and you can use it so um, I'm really starting to appreciate the um, things that you can use and um, use it for many different things okay it just for me it's a stress reliever to just know that I have something that works um, and that I can just grab in a hurry and not have 15 million products all over my house for different things I just have you know just a couple and that's it I can clean my whole house okay so what else we're gonna use what what we're also going to make today is purification is a great oil to make an annoyance outdoor annoyance free spray okay so I'm gonna read the ingredients of um, purification again if you didn't catch it it's got uh, it's got citronella raspberry uh, raspberry rosemary um, lemongrass tea tree lavender and myrtle okay so um, this makes a great uh, spray for that so I got I have a little bit of distilled water and this isn't necessary you could just use all water if you don't have witch hazel but um, 
it's just an added bonus to help your, you know, skin. Okay, so with the purification, okay, I'm going to make this extra strong and I'm going to add some extra citronella and some extra peppermint. All right. So you're just going to fill this bottle halfway up with distilled water. See if I can do this without making a mess. Okay. So see half of it with the distilled water. It's a little bit more than half, but that's okay. And then the rest with witch hazel. Okay. So if you really like um, the smell of lavender or you're using this on um, kids, I would, I would probably stick to the purification and maybe adding some lavender. They're a great combination. They work well together and they would work great um, for this annoyance-free, outdoor annoyance-free spray, er, spray. So I'm going to add five drops of each of these oils. So five drops of the purification. Okay, five drops of the peppermint. Okay, five drops of the citronella. So this spray is awesome for this time of year, um, but please remember, don't keep it in your car, okay? This is a small bottle. You can get smaller ones too. Um, keep them in your purse, okay? Then you have it all the time. And I also want to mention that this spray is good for more than just outdoor annoyance. It's got the purification in there, and you can spray down, like, you know, if you're in the car and you're noticing... Uh, your s car is smelling a little funky, you can just spray this on the carpets or spray it on the seats and it will help neutralize that smell, okay? So also, let your kids are done with soccer or basketball or baseball or whatever season it is, put a couple sprays of this inside their shoes and that'll help with that too. So um, again, I love things that I can use for more than um, one one thing. So again, okay, outdoor annoyance spray and then the baking soda. Oh, one thing, this is very important. I totally forgot about it. You want to add a pinch, okay? Just like a pinch of, and I should have done this first. I'll have this on my website with better directions, but you just want a pinch of Epsom salt. And what the Epsom salt does is it will soak up the oils, okay? So then it, as it um, melts into the water and witch hazel, the oils will be more dispersed, okay? Does that make sense? Otherwise, um, you would have to remember to shake this every time you use it. And honestly, I would still do that. But um, the Epsom salt will help disperse the oils through the liquid. So, better directions on my website if you want to um, head over there. It's essential-wellness.net. Um, and you click on the button, the blog button that's at the top. That'll take you to my landing page if you want to know, know more about Young Living. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> but there's a... Um, button at the top that will say blog and you can head over there and I'll have directions on how to make this and I won't forget the Epsom salt. Um, also I wanted to mention that I'm hoping to have um, these little oily tips more consistently. I'm hoping to be on here every Tuesday at 2 o'clock with another tip either a product review or um, just how to use some of your oils um, if you guys have any questions about products, you have questions about oils, you have any concerns, um, just leave them in the comments and I can um, 
either make a Tuesday about it or answer it during the next Tuesday oily tip. So I think that's about it. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.